Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing some more with the vacuum former. What I've done is I've 3D printed a plastic rocket buck that we're going to use to um, uh, actually vacuum form. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test uh, four different materials in vacuum forming. So we got a .07 inch, which uh, if I mic this out, and I think I get it in there, is about 0.2 millimeters and then I'm going to use uh, 0.015 inch and that's about 0.38 millimeters and then I'm going to go up to uh, a 0 0.03 which is going to be the thickest now this has a sheeting on it I'm not going to remove it it's about 0.73 millimeters and then I'm going to go a little bit outside of the box and I'm going to try some of this uh, craft foam which is about 1.43 millimeters thick so we're going to try each one of these so the idea is, is I'm going to put the plastic buck in here and pull down on the plastic buck once it gets hot now the other thing is I have a stopwatch over here so I'm going to run the stopwatch which eat with each one to monitor the time that it takes to heat each one of these up to get it to that uh, position. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to and then what I'm going to do is fast forward through the heating cycle. I'm not going to make you wait through the whole heating cycle. So I'm just going to fast forward through the heating cycles and then uh, come back when I do the pull down. So uh, let, let's go ahead. Let's um, actually we will start the clock on this and we'll push the button on this and so we'll start heating it up. We'll start with the point zero seven first. Okay, so we're at roughly about four and a half minutes. We've got a nice, we're getting a nice bow on this so we've got our our buck here, we're going to stick it in. Now this has been printed in ABS. Now remember, this is hot. So be very, very careful and make sure you kind of get it in the center. Then what I'm going to do is activate it and then... Now I've turned off the, uh, I've turned off the heat and turned off the vacuum. Now, one of the things I wanted to experiment with this is it's up a little bit high. Um, I don't think it's too bad. Um, but I need to let this cool a little bit before I pop it up. Because uh, I want to try to get it the other one. So, uh, so here it is. I'm going to let, let it cool a little bit before I try pulling it out. And that's part of what I want to do, is see how this buck pulls out. Because this is the .07 inch. And I'm trying to... Now, one of the things that I might mention, and I forgot to do actually with this, I should have put like a little screw hole or something in here, a little hole where I could get a, uh, a screw into uh, that would help pull it out. Because if you can get something in the middle um, as you're pulling this out. So what I'm going to do though is uh, for the sake of time I'm going to insert the 15. Lock that down. And then I'm going to take and reset the watch. There we go. So we set it. So I'm going to set the time. And then I'm going to bring the heater back and kick it, kick the heater on. Now we got the timer going over there. I'm going to still work on getting this back out of the the mold. And again, not too bad. So it comes out of the mold. We got actually a pretty nice mold. We had a little bit of splitting up here at the top. So that's going to cause a little, eh, did that split? I think there's a little bit of a hole. I'm not sure if this is getting it. Uh, it shouldn't be too big of a, a problem. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about, I'm going to actually use these molds to cast some parts to match this. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about some of the uh, aspects of, 
of casting and stuff in that. One of the things to note while this is still heating up is the um, these little fins here or excess, that's actually pulled pretty tight so we shouldn't have a big casting problem with that. So it is tight inside the mold, this more on the just on the outside of the mold. So all in all the .7 actually came out uh, pretty good. Now one of the things that I noticed while I'm sitting here talking is, is this took uh, about four and a half minutes. Now, 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 one of the things to kind of be aware of is this was our the, the heating element was already heated up, so that's probably saving about 30 seconds. But this has already gotten to the point where I need to to pull it. So, pretty quick. So that was basically double the thickness and it took uh, probably far less of the time to, uh, to pull. I'm just going to turn that. And I did get a little bit of bunching up there. I'm going to pop in the 0.3 real quick, 0 0.03. Uh, so that's heating while I'm talking. I want to peel, peel off the protective sheathing. I think it's only on one side. Nope, it's on both sides. So the, the let's see, what, the, what is the end dimension on this? I'm going to zero that, just to, for grins and giggles. So 0 0.71 without the sheathing. So I'm going to hurry up and throw this back in here. Close that, let's restart the stopwatch, and start it again. So we're now going with the stopwatch. I'll move the heat back in, and then I'll mess with getting the stopwatch to sit in there. Uh, so, um, come on, sit in there. Alright, so this is definitely far more, and this really has gripped on this one a lot more because the thicker it is the harder it's going to be to get this buck out of here um, and you can see where it kind of I'm interested to see how this comes out of the mold again I made a big boo-boo by not putting a hole in the center to to put a screw in and pull this out that would have made this a lot easier but I was in a a hurry doing it. I wanted to get this printed out. It took about two hours to print this this rocket. Holy crap! Do you see that? I wasn't paying attention, and, and at one minute, it's already messed up. It's already all the way formed. I'm gonna take that off and. I don't know if you can see that, but I can even get this out of the, the, the thing fast enough. So I'm going to let that cool down and <laughs> just take that out. Uh, oh. This is definitely tough to get out. Uh, so that came out, uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So this is definitely a lot more resilient than this. Um, so this is interesting. Good thing I got a second piece cut to experiment with. So this was... This was very interesting. So that's part of another experiment in vacuum forming because actually what I what I um, 
have planned on doing is I want to make um, actually picture frames with it extruded outward. I don't know if you've ever seen those where they have an item that's extended into the plastic. But that wasn't my intention. So let's give this another shot and then let's pay attention to it this time so we can complete this test. So uh, that was interesting. So let's get this peeled off and then we'll give it another run. But uh, so far I've been very encouraged with this little vacuum machine and what, what I can do with it. So. Um, So let's see, this thing is definitely getting... Now one of the things you want to be very careful about is touching this top. This top is hot. This, If I were to touch this top, I would have third degree burns. Um, so, well, we'll do this for semantics, but it was like a minute and a half that it was... See, it's already starting to sag. Because you can see it's actually even melting this red knob on the top. Um, it's getting so hot. So I've now turned it off. And so I've got my final my final pull. Well, actually not. I wanted to do the uh, other stuff, but I want to let that cool down a little bit. Woo-wee! That baby's hot. Um, Okay, so now we got to see about getting this one out. Now this one is about twice the the thickness, <clears throat> and this one is going to be hard, as I figured, because basically the the thicker the material, the more it's going to grab, the more uh, resilient it's going to be. And part of this situation is there's striations on the 3D printed part, so it's like all these little fingers gripping a hold of gripping a hold of the model. And you kind of got to break it loose. This, I think, is actually probably going to be a little bit. <clears throat> wow. I might have to do some inventive stuff to get this off. Okay, so I think we're back. So uh, I had to get another memory card, and while I was doing that, I went and I tried this, and this didn't last but a couple seconds in the heat. So um, craft foam doesn't work for um, backing for me. Also, the point three, uh, man, I had a really tough time demolding uh, this because, again, as I mentioned, the striations on here. I don't know if you can see this. If I can get this in here enough. But you can see the striations on here are really heavy. So what I had to do is run a utility knife down in through here to get it to release from the mold and the, the, the torque and stuff. I had to push on it really deformed and, and damaged this mold. So right now I would say about the, the best uh, product is about the point, point zero one five, um, or else in metric terms. Let's double check this. Make sure I'm not telling any stories out of school. So about the, the 0.45 millimeter um, size. This one came out with this released well. This has nice formings. Um, it's more resilient than, than the 0 0.07. Although the 0 0.07 is not bad either. So you could probably go with uh, about either, depending on what you want to do. The only thing that I would be concerned about, if you're going to do a hot casting, the point the point zero zero seven might deform if you're going to do wax or soap. If you're going to do like uh, alumilite or plaster or something like that, some sort of cold, uh, it should be okay. Um, 
what I'm going to try in the next video is I'm actually going to do some castings with some thermal, uh, thermally reactive casting material. So I'm interested to see what that does to this uh, later material. But I think the the the, the uh, 0 0.015 would be would be fine. And this is uh, uh, the stuff I'm going to go with to create my castings. I think. So in the next video, like I say, I'm going to do do the castings, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so make sure you follow. So again, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Been a lot of fun playing with the vacuum former. Um, I think we'll be able to create a lot of interesting things. I'm going to create a playlist for the vacuum former, so you can uh, kind of, you know, if you want to learn more about it, you can watch the whole playlist in the future. Um, and hey, the subscribe button is going to come up either that way or this way because I got the camera backwards right now. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget the swag shop. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.